Welcome to the Jets two minute drill game review presented by HCL Tech. Eric Allen and Quincy Anunwa here inside the studio. The New York Jets move to five and two on the year with a 16 and nine victory over the Denver Broncos. The one word that comes to mind from this performance, gritty, Quincy. Yeah, definitely. The defense did exactly what they needed to do. Held it down, you know, uh, the Jets came into this game knowing that Russell Wilson wasn't gonna play. So it was gonna be less of a challenge and they did it and the, the defense stepped up. This, the uh, back end did a good job. The front line did a good job. You know, the offense did enough to put some points on the board as well as special teams and that's all you can ask for. Yeah, offensively, tough going for the Jets. Brees Hall with a 62-yard touchdown. He looked like he was well on his way to another 100-yard rushing day. He goes out with a knee injury. And the Jets also lost Elijah Vera Tucker and Corey Davis inside that ball game, so they were just patching it together. Yeah, yeah, it was, and that's a tough thing to handle, right? Like anytime you have any type of injuries, you know, you, it, it's really hard to kind of get that next man to get out there and do what they needed to do, but the Jets made sure to get that done. You know, you had guys stepping up, making plays. Braxton Barrios had a few plays. Michael Carter had a few plays. So, you know, that's exactly what you want to see when guys go down. Uh, Greg Zerline for the Jets, three field goals Sunday afternoon. In fact, he scored the games final points, final nine points of the afternoon. Defensively, so many good performances, but we got to start with Sauce Gardner and DJ Reed. Sauce, 10 tackles, three PDs. DJ Reed had three PDs. And how about LaMarcus Joyner? He now has three interceptions on the year and four takeaways. I mean, talk about a complete flip on the back end, right? Like this, this secondary right here is exactly what you want. Um, anytime you can have a secondary that's going to get those interceptions, it's going to get those PDs, it's going to go out there and disrupt the offensive rhythm. Um, you know, it's just exactly what you want to see and it's exactly what you need. Big pitcher cue. The Jets have won four, uh, four in a row overall. They're now 4-0 oh on the road to start the year. And since 1990, 75 0.5% of teams who started 5-2 and two have made the postseason. I mean, the stats don't lie, right? You know, this, I think that all, all signs are leading towards some successful seasons. A uh, successful season, we're going to see what's going to happen. We're going to see how these guys continue to stack these plays up. I think the confidence is building, it's growing. You know, and I'm excited to see where they go with this. Yeah, uh, interesting spot and schedule because the Jets now 5-2. and two. New England Patriots come to town next week. Then you face the Buffalo Bills before the bye. After the bye, you will go to New England again. So three consecutive division games on tap. And that's exactly what you need right now. Um, I think they've been doing good with the tests that they've had, but these are the tests that they really need to see, the divisional games. That's where you know, okay, we're ready for the playoffs. You know, it's good to get these wins right now, especially in a conference game, but I want to see how they do against the divisional opponents because that's what's really going to propel you to the playoffs. Yeah, it wasn't pretty. But the results were beautiful. The New York Jets 5-2 with a 16-9 victory over the Denver Broncos. They're coming home riding high.